after a long and hard-fought primary race, presumptive Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton celebrated her victory Tuesday night in Brooklyn to a packed house of hometown supporters. Thanks to you, we've reached a milestone. The first time, the first time in our nation's history that a woman will be a major party's nominee for president. I think this is a big moment of history to say who we are as Americans and how we're going to live and live within the rest of the world. The excitement in this building was palpable as voters of all ages crowded in to watch Hillary Clinton become the presumptive nominee of the Democratic Party. And despite Bernie Sanders' vow to stay in the race until the bitter end, many of these voters said he's going to have to come around and endorse Hillary Clinton's campaign sooner rather than later. Bernie's supporters, who unfortunately don't want to be pro-Hillary, which I get, you know, when you rally behind a supporter, uh, when you rally behind someone who represents your values, it's, it's hard. But I think, you know, with the choice that we're going to be facing in November, it's important for them to really, you know, weigh the pros and cons and say, OK, well, maybe this is a good chance. You know, maybe it's going to happen in four years. But I think Hillary is always going to be better than Trump. I hope that by tomorrow morning, he really suspends his campaign and says to his followers, look, We've had a good fight here, but it's time to fight Donald Trump. If he truly believe in the cause of the Democratic Party, then he would show his support behind um, um, Hillary Clinton. As Republican rival Donald Trump spent much of this week defending another round of self-inflicted controversy, Clinton supporters say their candidate is well poised to tackle the property mogul in the general election. I think she's got to take some people from the Trump side, and I think that's going to be pretty easy because I think a lot of Republicans are um, horrified. The first debate between her and Trump, we're clearly going to see who's competent for this job. And I think as long as he continues making a fool of himself, then she should have no problem winning the general election. Perhaps the momentum of smashing the glass ceiling and becoming the first female presidential candidate will be enough to get the job. Amy Keene, Financial Times, New York.